few days ago, one guy got complaint, say police robber. Three million. They saw money in his account. They see ten million for one account. They see three million for another account. They practically robbed him. Robbed him life. I collected three million, and they were so stupid to collect it with the bank account, right? So they give her money for the account. They send the money to. I don't know. I missed that news because I had planned I was going to do the video. I totally forgot until I see. Um, police PR will preach. So, Lumu, you are dangerous. I'll be talking about the matter today. Again, I the matter I bring from my head because the police have actually arrested those police officers in the move. Now, before we talk about the arrest, so they arrest those police officers. Let's listen to this guy's story first. I will come back. Watch this. All right. Okay. <clears throat> my name is Comrade Libati. Okay. I'm from Abombisi local government, Imo State. Imo State. So, it happened that um, on the 26th of August. 2024. 26th. I and two of my friends were coming back from Ugen, heading to Oroimo State. Okay. So, immediately after Patani, around Udi, Ubaiza State, we met police checkpoint. They stopped us, searched our car, checked the particulars of the vehicle. Everything was okay. Okay. They all of us should step down, cross the road to where they parked their van. So when we got there, they asked the two of my friends to give them their phone. They which gave. They did. And when they asked me to give me to give them my phone, I refused. I said, ah, I think we've passed this stage in this country. Even the IG said we shouldn't give any policeman our phone on the road. That's true. And if they think uh, they want to investigate us or do anything with us, they should take us to the station. Literally, I said that was they started beating me. Wow. And I'm pretty stubborn. Maybe I'm I'm a terrorist or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they started beating me. And I said, I won't release my phone unless I get to the station. So the beating became too much. They handcuffed me, tied my hand, made sure I had to do it. Like, it became very much. Before I look, some of the station girls, like, I don't kill of us. I said, this is like, we are bad people. It don't wish like that. So the pressure was much. I had to give them my phone. I opened my phone. But maybe I gave them my phone. The first place the guy went to is to read my message. So I did the transaction there. What's your alert? My UBA um, account. So I've not read the SMS with debit alert. So let he opened it. He saw my balance 10 points, um, 10 million 17,000 was in the account. Mm -hmm. Let shouted at them, at them, at them. I was like, at them, what? what did you see? He put me in the vehicle. I was, he put me in the back of the vehicle. The other two of the policemen, there are five policemen in number. He put two of the policemen entered our car with my other two friends. They were driving uh, behind us. We drove, 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 drove for like 20 minutes along the way. They were beating me in the car. Now, this 10 million that I must give them 6 million from it. Mm -hmm. so they will kill us. I said, oh, I can't do that. I said, okay, this account now, this 10 million, that money is not my own. It's money I'm using for my younger brother's project. Okay. Like, FCMB will have uh, 3 million. I said, yeah, you have seen it. It was going through my, only my SMS, that's the only thing I was going to say, you have seen that is my name, Liberty Isaac. That is my name, and that is my own account. Okay, let's talk about this one. Since I'm going to give you. Uh, half of what is in this one. Let's talk about my own account. He refused. When the beating became too much, and I started negotiating with them. I said, with 500,000. The beating became much again. Negotiating so for his life. We gave 500,000. Went up to 1.5 million. Beating again. And not degree. At the point, I said, instead of this people came me because of this money. And I said, okay, well, the last I can give to you guys is 3 million. They now agreed to collect the 3 million. They said I would give them 3 million. I said, okay. They now gave me back my phone. To do the transfer. In fact, they, they were holding the phone with me to make sure I didn't open another app or do any other thing. No, you don't want to transfer from the FCMB account. I wanted to do three million straight. It was giving issue, so I did two million from my FCMB account, and I did one million from my from the UB account. Okay. And I said, okay, they will go to the next village. I said they should drop us here so that I will get myself. You transfer account. to which account? Yeah, to um money point account. They, they provided the, the money point. Yeah, they are with the money point account. Yes, I'm with the account. I have my statement of account. You have a statement of account. Yes, yes. Can you display it to us? Yeah, so this is my the statement of account. Statement of my account. Sure. Display display it to the camera. Yes. At this place now you see. What name is there? What name did you transfer to? What account did you? Um, the money point account. The name is um Jerry. 
Jerry 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 Ventures. Jerry, Jerry Ventures. Ventures. I transferred one million to Jerry Ventures. Okay. And this is the account number mm. of Jerry Ventures. Mm. That is the same account number you transferred the, the three, two million and one million. No, 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 no. Okay, transfer this to yeah. two accounts. Yeah. So the two million and another account. This other account here. I transferred two million to this account. There is no new money, but this one this is let me see. Let me see. This is the um pillar, but this is it. This is the use of two million. My uh, mm. this account. Money yeah. points money. microfinance bank. Yeah. The two accounts are money points. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, so after which they I will insisted I insisted they should drop me there so I will take out. They say no. Now they have other of their teams along the way. They don't want them to meet us again or start us again. They have, so they have other armed robbers with police uniform along the road. Really? Yes, they drove us from that place. I was still in that vehicle. We got to Ahoda. They came down, the two policemen in the other car came down, joined this car. The next I came down, we were ready, we were ready to move. They just stretched their hand and gave me the three phones. That's my phone, that of my two friends. Wow, wow, wow. Off, wow. Off. Wow, so wow, wow, wow. So have you made any official complaint to any pol any security agency like the police? Have yes, you made any official yes, complaint? My barrister did that. My barrister did that. He has written to, yeah, yeah, to the barrister state um, Commissioner of Police. Yes, the PPRO's office. Okay, okay. PPRO's hey. office. Yes. Has there been any response? I don't, I've not spoken to him to the bazaar yesterday. He said he has done it so, but we like to be out. Okay, so, so what, what do you want now? What is that demand? What do you want? The demand is I want justice. I want my money back. And I want this the people to be apprehended so it won't happen to other citizens. Again. Yes. That's my demand. I want justice. I want my money back. So when they say Nadem Nadem, what do they actually mean by Nadem Nadem? I don't really know. That Nadem Nadem, that guy was saying. So this transaction was done along the road. You are not taking to any police facility. Yes, I was inside the vehicle. That's where I did the transaction. They continuously beating you until you... Until I was I'm about passing out. At the time I told the one in the front, say, what they beat and forget. They were neck, hitting me on my neck. Yeah. Because I was sitting with one of the police officers at the back. The handcuff is like this one by this, so he was hitting me here. At the time, I wanted to hit me, I dodged it. There's his hand hit on the chair, so he hit me on my face. And the officer said, no, 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 when I say me that can't go station, they say there be there be federal SARS. That is as they be. They say they are stationed now for inside bush. You see, the complaints about these guys are too much. And then it's looking like they cannot do without it. And let's be sincere, right? They cannot do without it. Let me first of all show you um Prince Olumu Iwa's post about this situation. So Lumu Iwat said, the policemen involved in this case of extortion of 30 million have been arrested. The men are attached to Zone 16 Command in Yenegua. The command has been asked to produce the men at the force headquarters. The force headquarters will continue to sanitize the system and ensure justice is done in all cases brought to its notice. Thanks. Now, question number one. Prince Olumu Iwat first of all must want to thank the police for making swift movement. And this guy complained this thing about five, six days ago. And as of today, they have been arrested. So in less than a week, we have fished out the policemen involved. And they have been arrested and they will be taken to the force headquarters. But my question is this. Now we know the face of the man that is told is 30 million. So other police, maybe their colleagues in this chief now, they don't know this guy's face. They think we'll see him tomorrow now. This guy will be in trouble. Why are we not seeing the face of the policemen that extorted the 3 million? So that when we see them tomorrow, we go say, oh, now still the police work. Why are we not seeing their face? Because now you are telling that one by tweets. So the guy who is the victim is known to all, but the thieves, their face, they hide them. My African shall not say, poor man, wait till money, they go see their face for crime fighter, but when rich man, I will get power, take money, we know they see their face. For crime fighter, that's why I think the IG and all of you at the top of the police should stop forming like you are surprised when things like this happen because now I'm not set them up to happen. Stop forming as if you are surprised. You cannot give somebody less than 100,000, they give a color, they tell us if we don't rob people, it's not possible. 
The truth is, even if you give police one million per month, they go stay thief. It's just the spirit of a Nigerian man. The ones that were there for free, I know how much with their legal salary. They still the siphon funds. Do you know how much a government makes legally? But it will still move money. So no matter how much you give to a Nigerian man, he will still steal. But you have to put him in a position where if he thief, if he castigator. I don't know if you're getting me. You cannot give somebody less than 100,000 per month. He caught if you call the blame and say a thief. Even we will they hear the case now. If you show those policemen now, once they explain their salary, we say we're sorry for them. So what am I saying? Put them in a position where you, when you want to discipline them to be justified. A policeman should not earn less than half a million in today's economy. Give him truly a, a living wage that is really living wage. Then take the punishment for crimes like this to the capital punishment. May they face firing squad. They didn't catch anybody who involved in things like this. So that that time we go, it will look justified. We know that their salary is not too big, but at least they feel live small big in life. Four and eight hundred, and they give somebody eighty thousand. Hundred liters, hundred liters of oil. Maybe a full monthly salary, and you give an cana, and you say, "Me now extort people." We will extort people. Now we data. Once they see us with good cars, they invest. Then they look how many years we don't work. Go without a drive motor. They invest. So give them proper living wage. Increase the punishment for extorting Nigerians to the capital punishment. And then everybody will see tight. Because when you look of this, everybody like I say these guys even know. Even like I say they are on guard the top. Get hand for all this movement. All these they are DPO them and they are zoned. It be like so. Because these guys cannot be taking this movement. If they are on guard the top, not get hand for all this movement. I just see my given on my two cents. Thank you for arresting those police officers, but show their face, me will see them. Then increase their salary and increase the punishment for issues like this. The only reason you're not showing their faces is because probably you want to still put them inside the police force again. You want to just derang them and put them back inside the police force. The police force is not the job we used to sorry for people. If you want sorry for person, give a cleaner work. Not be police work. 